Hello everyone, this is your instructor Victor Campos and I'm going to talk about uh, more of Google Plus for your business. Now at the top right of the screen uh, you may notice a little bell and this is your notifications bell. It lets you know that some activity has happened on Google Plus. So I've got a little number one there. I'm going to click on it and it pops up to tell me something has happened. Jacob Tanner and six others, they've commented on something. So if I were to get some followers or someone uh, commented to me uh, or any sort of interaction, I would see it here. I can then uh, click the actual notification and I'll see more detail. And in this particular case, what I'm seeing is that there have been more comments added to this particular post that I commented to and I was alerted to it. Now think about that. I commented to a popular post and it's popular because I can see it's got a lot of plus ones and shares and comments from a popular account. So I commented to it. I became part of the conversation. And then when people afterward commented, I was notified. Uh, that's the social in social media. So the point is that of that is that I can uh, get into an existing conversation and put my own comments and links and all of that, and people will get notified of it and uh, possibly create more interaction. And the point of all of that is to get... Um, followed by uh, people and um, and that's the part of the social media that takes the time and the effort. So if you have any notifications up there, good. If not, let's talk about some more ways to get uh, notifications. As I've been saying, you can uh, follow people, um, mention people, etc. But one of the best ways to get interaction is to post where people are because at the moment if I go to my about, um, it says that I am following four people, but no one has followed me yet. That's because I'm one of the uh, hundreds of millions of people using Google+, Plus. so how do I stand out? This is how we stand out. We can go over to the menu and go to Communities. Communities are sections of Google+, Plus where people connect on... Um, like-minded topics. So when I first come here, I see some example communities. This is YouTube creators. This is the Android community, the Microsoft community, HDR. And then there's some statistics. YouTube creators at the time of this video has 14,590 members. Android community has 192,977 members. Microsoft has nearly 20,000 members. And HDR has over 350,000 members. So those are real people using Google Plus on a topic that they care about. So what I'm going to do is uh, join a few communities. But just because there's a join button there, and a lot of members doesn't mean you should just jump into it. You should do a little bit of research because sometimes you will have a lot of members but not too many posts. Or you might have a lot of members and a lot of posts but they may not be meaningful posts. So here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to click on a community. It'll take me to the community and it'll give me information about itself. Android for Android owners everywhere. It tells me there's 192,000 members, etc. Usually somewhere in the community it'll tell you about itself, uh, perhaps um, rules of the community, what not to do, pros and cons, etc. What I want to do is go to a community that might interest me and browse the content a little bit. So Luini Suazo posted something a couple of minutes ago. Uh, and then over here, Arnold Gupta posted something. So people are posting content on a regular basis. This one here, Alejandro de, de la Rosa, posted something, and he's got six comments. That's good. I want to see activity. Just because people are posting content doesn't mean they're paying attention. So that one's got nine plus ones. That one's got five. That's got a few plus ones. That's got some comments. 
So what I'm trying to do here is uh, scope out a community. I want to uh, join a community that has a lot of members and activity. I want people. This one's got five comments. So I would say focus on communities that have at least 1,000 members. Go in and see what kind of activity we have. Let's see this one. Curtis Gutwin. Check out Circuits, a theme for themer inspired by the music puzzle game with the same name. 16 plus ones, two shares, two comments. Sounds good. I think I'm going to join this community. So at the top, we've got join. I'm going to go back to all communities. And I'm going to say I'm going to join a few others. Microsoft. Um, baking. Obviously, you want to join communities that relate to what your business is about. Mine's Victor's Bakery. I'm joining the bakery community there, but I'm also interested in uh, Microsoft products, Android products. Uh, here's one about foodies. I'll do that. So I can browse here and find uh, interesting communities. But that if I go back to the top at the right, I can search. So I'm going to write here uh, maybe a community about cookies. So I'm going to write cookies. So I get cakes, sweets, biscuits, 905 members. Tough Cookie Mommy, 627 members. Cookie Connection on Google Plus, 172 chocolate and cookies, 108. So again, uh, there's many communities out there. Um, you can make your own community. I do not recommend that, however. Join an existing community first, get a following, and then create a community. And join communities that have at least 1,000 members. That way you're going to get activity. Um, like here, Cookie Plus has four members but no posts. Don't join that. Uh, this is basically in order of activity. So 905 members. Um, that's close to the threshold that I mentioned. I might join that. Tough Cookie Mommy, I don't know what that is, but I'll check it out. Cookies Connections, too few members. So I'm going to go look at the Tough Cookie Mommy uh, community. Uh, so what's this about? About uh, Tough Cookie Mommy community is a place for mothers and women who juggle it all, including a career, a family, a marriage relationship, raising children, running a business, blogging, and much more, and manage to do it successfully most of the time. So let's scope it out a moment. There's uh, a moderator. Uh, here's a post, two plus ones, uh, a comment. Um, as I browse this community, I see a few names over and over a few times, which is good, which means that these are dedicated community members. You want people that care about your the topic that you care about, but I'm not seeing too much actual activity. So um, I could join it and see how it goes. Uh, most communities I'm able to simply select uh, join, and I've joined. This one says ask to join. So a moderator will sort of review my request to join and decide to add me to the community or not. So I might not be able to join this one. I'm going to go back. I'm going to try this one, Cake Sweets Biscuits. Uh, about this community, Hello World, do you like cakes, cookies, rolls, or anything other sweets? Yes, that's great. Come in and join. This one's got a, oh, this one's also got an ask to join. Let's see the activity. Uh, right away, I see a difference. I see more plus ones. I see more comments, perhaps. So, okay, this might be a community that might uh, be a good idea for me to join. So I'm going to ask to join. I don't know how long it'll take for me to, to, to be accepted, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to do a search one for one more thing. Um, just um, cooking in general. Families cooking with kids, cooking, home cooking. I'm going to look at families cooking with kids. 
It's got 19,000 members, a community of parents, kids, and chefs, food lovers sharing ideas, etc. Uh, well, right away I see some spam right there. Um, activity is minimal. So see why this is important not just to select join but to also vet the community a bit. So maybe I won't change, uh, join it. But I'm going to go back to my communities screen. At the top it shows what I've joined, what activity it's had since I've last visited. Now here's the point of a community. This is a captive audience. I'm going to select baking and now I have the option to post content. This was not available before I joined the community. Now that it's uh, available, I can actually post something. So for example, I'm going to go borrow a picture of some baked goods. So I'm going to just search for tasty cookies. Obviously, you want to post your own content, but a good rule of thumb is 80-20. Uh, as in 80% 80, um, 80 um, uh, your original content and 20% uh, uh, shared content. So for the moment I'm going to say that uh, I want to use this picture um, in this community so I will select Notice I downloaded it, and then I'm going to upload it. You want to use more of your own pictures, your products and such. So I'm going to post. Huh, okay. Um, just a moment. I guess that wasn't actually a picture. So I should have had a picture ready, but that one's good enough. Let's say we're going to use that picture. So join a community to post content that people would care about. Um, focus on a picture, perhaps, or a video, something visual, something interesting. And then write a comment about it, and also try to put in a question. So I'm going to say, um, how does it feel when you reach the last cookie on the plate? A question entices people to answer it. So that's a good tactic. I'm going to post to this community, and depending on the community, it may have sections. Notice here, we've got all of these sections. Um, a, a community might have like an introduce yourself section or simply just topics. Perhaps I should have done an intro uh, post, but I'll do that in a moment. I'm going to uh, add this here. Uh, this is a cookie. So now people that go to this section will see it, so I'll share. And now what I've done is I've actually targeted my post to potentially 43,858 Google Plus users that might care about what I say. This is in big contrast to simply posting from your main home screen because unless you have followers, no one sees it. So what I'm going to do is make another post, but this time just a plain text post. And I'll say, hi, we're Victor's Bakery. Remember, you can do styling. We're Victor's Bakery, and we're happy to join this great community. Flattery will get you everywhere. We've been around a while, and are excited to join Google Plus. And then again, add a question. How long have you been on Google Plus? This is going to go over to the Introduce Yourself section, and I'll share. 
So again, you might not get activity right away, but here you've increased your odds. Um, you've posted to a captive audience. You've joined a community, posted relevant content, pictures, text, video, etc. Perhaps added a question, something funny, added styling to stand out from the other people that are not styling, and um, you'll start to get uh, activity. Uh, maybe slowly at the beginning, but as time goes on and you add more content, you'll be getting more activity, more follows, and ultimately more traffic. So we'll continue to learn more about Google Plus on the next video. Come back for that.